Pottery has been my hobby for about 20 years. I first realised something was wrong a few years ago. Making my figures became more and more difficult. One thing that I love doing is just sitting down, relaxing and going through our photograph albums of the family. And bit by bit, I began to realise that I was having problems telling who was who. I had the earlier signs of macular degeneration. Although I can see where I'm putting the brush, I can't see after I've done it what it looks like. And so I'm unable to paint properly, which meant virtually that I had to give it up. In an ever-aging population, age-related macular degeneration is still the leading cause of irreversible blindness in the industrialised world. As the number one cause of visual impairment amongst persons aged over 75, it is a great concern in public health. For exudative AMD, treatment options have been revolutionised over the past decade with the introduction of intravitreal injections of antivascular endothelial growth factors. While the treatment for exudative AMD is widely available, reduced near visual acuity is still a growing problem for patients with macular degeneration. A number of external magnifying devices are currently available for use, but these have limited acceptance by some patients. Even with the magnifier, I found it difficult to read newspaper print, especially any article which included long words. The end of words tends to disappear completely. One such device, developed in cooperation between Professor Chariot and Medicontour Medical Engineering, is the Chariot Macular Lens, also known as the SML. It's a single-piece hydrophilic IOL with a water content of 25%. It's quite a scary thought somebody is, is going to operate on your eyes. But uh, the clinic were fantastic and there was real support, real encouragement. And the surgery itself, I have to say, was completely painless. Vision is just so important to everyone, to everyday life. Guess what? I'm back making pottery again.